how's it going guys? My name is Ray. Today I'm going to show you my special way of enjoying eggnog. This is a super simple recipe, so let's go! So we're going to start the recipe by mixing 2.5 cup of full cream milk and about 150 ml of thickened cream. And to that we're going to add about half a cup of sugar. Turn the heat on to medium and bring it up to heat while whisking constantly. And when the mixture has started heating up, add in 1 teaspoon of vanilla bean paste and continue cooking the mixture until it started simmering. In the meantime, crack 2 eggs into separate bowl. And when the mixture has started simmering like that, you can start pouring in the mixture into the eggs. Do it slowly and constantly like so while whisking. This method is called tempering. This helps bind eggs with hot mixture without scrambling it and give the end result of the mixture a silky texture. And to give the drink its classic flavor, I'm gonna grate in a little bit of fresh nutmeg. I don't usually like the nutmeg as a topping because I think it's just too strong on the nose. I'd rather have it thoroughly mixed into the drink. So traditionally, this recipe calls for brandy, but today I'm gonna swap it around with some scotch. Specifically a Speyside scotch because they're known for their Christmassy flavors such as vanilla, zesty fruit, and a little bit of spice. So as you can see so far, I have about 60 ml of scotch in the mixture. I'm gonna add a little bit more later, but we're just now gonna thicken up the mixture slightly. Yes, if you add it now, the alcohol is not gonna be as strong because it's getting cooked. But the reason I'm adding it now is more for the flavor rather than the alcohol. So all we have to do is just return the mixture into the pot and heat up over low heat until the mixture slightly thickened and it can coat the spatula like so. Then just return it back into the bowl once you think it's ready. Give it a little taste for the alcohol content. And now I'm just adding 60 more mils of the scotch. And to be honest with you, outside the video, I added another 60 mils of the scotch. I think for most people, two shots would be perfect because not everybody likes super strong drink. So now for the topping, I'm gonna do a vanilla whipped cream. It's pretty simple. It's just 150 ml of cream and 1 teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. And just whisk it until it reaches a stiff peak like so. So the second topping I'm gonna be using today is some shaved chocolates. So all you have to do is just run your knife around the back of a chocolate bar. You can use any of your favorite chocolate. You can go dark or milk chocolate, but I don't think white chocolate will work. But there is really no harm if you want to give it a go. I mean, it's just a topping. Worst come to worst, you can just take it off. So now that you have your shaved chocolate ready, just ladle your drink carefully into a glass of your choice. You can serve this cold or hot. It's gonna be good either way. Then just top it with the cream that we made earlier as well as the shaved chocolate and that is ready to serve i mean come on guys doesn't that drink look gorgeous so yeah there you have it guys my take on the classic drink eggnog i hope the eggnog recipe is right up your alley and if you like that recipe please leave this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram and twitter to get the latest updated away videos and here are the links to my previous videos so don't forget to check that out as well Links and measurements are going to be in the description box below and if you have any requests on what you want to see me cook, you can just leave a comment below and that will be all for today. See you next week guys. Bye!